Hi, I'm outside of the saddle blanket where we're just about to cover the dog lovers fair? Seriously? What's so nerdy about the dog lovers fair? Ruben, Ruben, huh? Oh! So we're here to talk to the friendly folks of FrankenCon here at the Dog Lovers Fair. In Aspect Ray's show, he's got a whole lot just to show whenever he is on the go. In Aspect Ray's show, his aspect ratio, he's got a whole lot to say. In aspect ratio, we welcome you to the show. This is the aspect ratio. I'm here with Berlin Ariano and Tacoma Thomas, and we're here to talk about Frankencon. So tell me, what inspired you all to come up with El Paso's first horror convention? Um, well, my husband and I, we always do conventions around town. We set up our merchandise. We have a horror business, mm -hmm. um, horror collectible business. So um, we were real accustomed to going out of town, doing shows out of town, so we thought, why not bring something to El Paso, bring something to us and share with the rest of the community, of the horror fans, the sci-fi fans. Now you do realize that El Paso does love its horror films, its slashers and zombie films. Tell me, uh, tell me something. What are you looking most forward to about FrankenCon this year? Um, I guess the biggest thing is the Return of Living Dead cast reunion, since it is the biggest reunion and the first time they're in Texas. So that's uh, really the biggest highlight of the convention for horror fans all, all around, I believe. I'm looking forward to seeing Lois Lane myself. You know, aside from that, you know, I will say that you're all pioneers in the sense that you come up with something that's brand new to the city. Can you tell us a little more about the sci-fi aspect of FrankenCon? Um, well, horror and sci-fi, you know, a lot of times they coincide with each other, you know, different monsters and villains and stuff. Um, we have a Doug Jones who does a lot of the characters in the movies that are that will be coming in. He does a lot of the sci-fi uh, characters. I don't know, <laughs> to that, to the sci-fi aspect. I'm more horror. I think a lot of the a lot of the actors who are coming, they've been in both sci-fi and horror films, and sci-fi and horror kind of goes hand in hand. And so, mm -hmm. you know, we're just making sure that we cover all the grounds and keeping everybody happy. Oh, absolutely, most definitely. Could you both tell me what is your favorite horror film of all time, past or present? Um, I like a lot of the. 80s cheese horror, and so I, I have to go with either Frankenhooker or Brain Damage. Ah, I liked Child's Play. It was kind of interesting. How about you? No, I'm kind of on the same uh, wavelength as her about the cheesy 80s films. Mine would be Creep Show too. I'm here with Nietzsche of the Arts, Artists Recovering the Scars. So can you tell me a little more about your organization? Yes, Artists Recovering the Scars was formed here in El Paso to use art to help the community. So. We basically do art pieces with all the members in art, and we raffle them up, and we donate it to a non-profit um, organization around El Paso. Oh, that's wonderful. So can you tell me a little more about these arts? Did you do these yourself, or are these from yes. various members of the community? Um, these two I did myself, and then the members also, they'll contribute their own artwork as well. Um, we'll also be doing little things like selling ribbons for a dollar. It mm -hmm. also goes for an animal rescue by the end. And we're also going to be doing activities later on involving art to inform the community and get people involved and see how much art can be fun. Wonderful. I mean, I'm, I'm a firm believer that art is definitely necessary in this community. Yes. I'm here with Janice Nutt, and she's here to promote a special event called Hallow Wine. Can you tell a little bit about the event? Sure. This is our seventh year, and we have a dog walk that's held at Lavinia Winery. It's going to start at 1 o'clock, and after the one-mile walk around the vineyard, we have costume contests for the dogs. 
It looks like your dog wants to be part of the interview. <laughs> so are you excited about this little event, little fella? Hey, of course I am. And then one other thing, all the proceeds from the dog walk go to spay neuter pets. Ah, yes, it's always good to spay and neuter your pets. You heard it here, folks, so check it out. Be sure to check out FrankenCon Saturday, October 29th and 30th at the El Paso Wyndham Airport Inn. Until then, this is Ruben Rascone signing off for Aspect Ratio. In Aspect Ratio, he's got a whole lot just to show. Whenever he is on the go In Aspect Ratio His Aspect Ratio He's got a whole lot to say In Aspect Ratio We welcome you to the show This is the Aspect Ratio